Hello people of the internet, I am the Aussie Wargamer, and I am playing a new old game called Heroes and Generals. Um, the reason why I say it's new old is because I only just found out about it, but it, apparently it's been up for quite a while. It's still in beta though, but um, it's gone through multiple updates and stuff before I even got onto it. But I, I found it, because... Um, Frankie played it, and a few other YouTubers were looking into it, and it looked really good because I really did like the um, World War One, Two, sorry, based games. So I will be playing this game for a little while now. I'm doing a live commentary of tank gameplay now. I've been playing this game for a while now, and I only just decided to start recording because I'm kickstarting my channel again. But yeah, I will be stepping you through on tank gameplay, etc. So pretty much anyone who um already knows series and generals will know pretty much everything but for people that don't yeah I'm light armor I have only just got the M5A1 Stewart which is a American light tank so I'm gonna be spawning in that I load my armor piercing composite rigid shells is that? oh it was okay um yeah, so that moment when... Yeah, that was the first shot I've ever taken. I've got to really stand my toes. Oh yeah, and you can like pop out and you get increased mobility when you pop out of your tank. And better vision, but at the same time, you make yourself one with a small arms fire. Which is not easy. This guy is... Really? Oh! Um, okay. Nice. Good job, bro. Just checking my surroundings. Oh god. I'm gonna blow it up just because... Don't want them enemies getting in those tanks. And I just got bombed. Oh. Bit of... Frame lag, etc. I'm probably going to die very soon, because these planes are like hawks. Unfortunately, for some reason, Germany seems to always be with me. I'm getting shot at and bombed. Anything else? But yeah, Germany wins a lot. Um, I don't know why this is. Some people say that their tanks and stuff are okay, but... No, I, I think it's fairly balanced. I think it's just that um, see, all the everybody new goes to America for some reason. I did because um, I was new and I was like, oh, I kind of want to play America because you know, the war in front, everyone wants to be morally right, but the more advanced players seem to neglect that and go for Germany. It could be that, I'm just conspiracy, but you know. Hello, Mr. Person on Bicycle. Can I hear you? I gotta be really careful because one hit from anything's gonna kill me. Someone's around because they're chucking grenades at me. Please don't bomb me. I think you went for me. Try and support my friendly. I'm gonna try and support friendly units. Oh god. This dude's really unaware of what's going on. So far, I'm stopping all the enemy armor. He scabbed a enemy tank. That could be a tank over there. Let's go. Oh my god! Hi, buddy! Oh god. Don't you dare have something that will kill me. I believe it's the Chaffee. The Chaffee can one shot me. In uh, those little Jeep things. 
I need to be really careful here because I'm, as I said, <laughs> See, this is what they'll do. If they don't have anything to kill you with, then they'll just climb all over your tank and try and taunt you to pop out and have a look. The biggest mistake people do is they pop out and have a look. I'm going to say snug inside my tank right now. That looked like a tank explosion, so I'm going to go check out. Let's see any tanks. Guy is gone. It does sound like there's a tank up there, so I'm going to go investigate. Hopefully get myself a kill. This game is getting increasingly more popular by minute. I guess it's, you know, people like Frankie and that started upload uploaded at least one video of it. Fan base greatly increased. And then from then on I've just been seeing more and more people joining and it's been really good. I don't know what they're gonna do about the general side of the game because um after a while, it's going to get pretty crowded with all these people, with all these squads. There's going to be a lot of units on the map. They could open up like the Africa and North Africa and expand the battle. Ooh, hello. Ah. Bad shot. I think someone just took a crack at me. Yep. Okay, time to go out. Alright. So, now I'm on foot. Not sure what actually killed me. Guessing some guy with bazooka. But I think that would have killed me in one shot, so in the tank. Was a tank? Yeah, it was a tank. Wow. Good job guys. Let's get out of our tanks and let the enemy have me. I'm literally useless against these tanks, because you know, I'm infantry. When I spawn my tank again. Oh, hi. Still getting used to the grease gun. She's still getting used to all the... All of the uh, submachine guns. So I have, I, it took me forever to grind out the sniper scope for the infantry. I do not recommend doing it. It's not worth it. You get less from it than just going recon and using the credits. Grinding out the BASL rifle, which is actually pretty fun because you can make it one shot, people. But it's much better to go recon because you can actually modify your sniper then and get it to one shot. Which is actually quite OP. Killing more people. So far, three to zero. Not good, but I've destroyed a lot of armor. Really need to deal with these tanks. I don't, don't want to commit suicide. Suicide isn't the option, kids. Hey there. <laughs> oh god, he's looking at me. Bit too slow, buddy. I'm doing what the guy before was trying to do to me. Oh, hello. Trying to taunt him out of his tank. He knows that we're here. Actually, I might go defend the objective. Taking shots from someone. Ooh. That tank's looking this way. Oh! I don't think that was... I think it might have been modded with more damage than usual, but not modded for a one shot, because I was very lucky. For tanks, it takes a damn colossal megaton year to load. Which makes sense, because some people say that the tanks are really OP, and I'm honestly going to agree with them. At really low levels, it's like a tank can just dominate everything, because hardly anyone's got... Um, a bazooka or any anti-tank things because it costs a damn arm and a leg for someone who's just starting but um... well that was some odd lag 
Um, but after that... Oh, please get out of here, mate. Thank you. But after that, the higher levels are just... There is a lot of people with bazookas and stuff ready to blow your brains out at every corner. Fighting in city environments with tanks is quite risky. I don't like it, but on this map... Oh, hello! On this map, you do not have a really... Hey, I see you there. This guy is like... Tickling. might be attacked to our right. Oh, please don't. See, these damn planes. I don't know what it is about the planes, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm really dead here, because I'm reversing. It's getting bombed, getting shot, getting... Oh, okay, yeah, I thought he didn't see me. <laughs> Picked up an M1 ground, okay. See, the planes are very, very different. I do indeed have a pilot, but I will leave that for another time because I am using tanks this time around. But yeah, this game is really good. I do actually suggest it for just about everyone. Anyone that loves, like, World of Tanks or uh, War Thunder will love this game. I mean, I would say that the tank gameplay is far better tuned than the uh, airplane gameplay because, um,. I guess it's still a beta, they're still adding stuff. Is that a person? I'm tripping. Yeah, um, uh, planes, please don't. But yeah, it's uh, certainly got a long way to go, especially with the balancing systems of how much things cost and all of that. I can understand why it costs an arm and a leg and like a week of time to get the scope rifle for the. That was just a lucky shot. Not a lucky shot, a lucky shot that I took. I know what it costs an arm and a leg, it's because, it's like, having the advantage of a scope on this game is something you would do more. Because, literally, the only weapon that has any kind of scope is the snipers. So, if you own a sniper, and you've just given yourself an advantage, but they are very, say, balanced. Nowhere near as powerful as the, um... That might be tank over there, someone's sweating. Nowhere near as powerful as the M10... M1903, um... See, I was out of my tank and got shot. This guy is in the car. I still got him because he retarded but he stood in front of me. Nice. Yeah, I'll be playing with some of my friends as well, like Dark and Mac and uh, We might do a series, we might not. Okay, that's not good. There is a tank behind me currently shooting me, but I can't really do anything about it. Crossing an open field is probably not the best I've ever had. Alright, so I'm going to try and fight an enemy tank on zero health. Nearly zero health. I think this will go swimmingly. Yeah. So there. Oh, that damn tank. This is what I hate when people get out of their tanks before they're even, like, dead. I guess some people get shot out of them, but, like, why are you out of it in the first place? This game can go for a very long time, so I might shorten it down, might not. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure this is going up. Hasn't been the greatest game. It was because I've been hands busy fighting in the armor, and from the enemy armor, which has been captured. Hey. The turrets turn extremely slowly. Am I getting shot at already? I am! Oh my goodness, of course. And the lag. Oh, I killed him. I must have been very low. Yeah, okay, guys, so I got Panzerfaust, which, um. 
It's a handheld grenade launcher, bazooka, or whatever you want to call it. Um, can be abused in a way. You can run up behind a tank with a um. If you have the anti-tank uh, class on your jeep, you can drive up behind a tank um, before you even just when you leave your base, grab a one off the back, get in your tank and your jeep, sorry, and then drive to the, towards the tank. Once you get to the tank, you can jump out, shoot it once, and then there'll be another one already loaded into your um, jeep. So you've pretty much just nearly killed the tank in the blink of an eye, which is. Just a balancing issue. Oh, I don't think you realize it will Yeah, there's a lot of tank people in this game. I used to hate them. Oh my goodness, I hate these planes. Literally, one of the worst things about this game is these planes. No matter what you're doing, it's not bad for the Germans because you know the Germans have freaking thousands. For some reason, Germany always wins the skies. I'm not because sure if that's because um, P-38 Lightning, which is the American plane, is a ground attack fighter. But whatever it is, oh here we go. Whatever it is, it is sure as hell annoying because you hardly ever get a game where P-38s from the skies. Even the games I play, I am a terrible pilot. Which probably is half the reason why I'm getting wrong though. Which is probably half the reason why um, we lose the skies so much because we've got so many noobs in uh, planes. I am one of them. There's something over there. It looks like it's dead. I totally expect to get bombed in a second. Shot or something. Always finish off armor. I joined this game a bit late, so. What are you gonna do, right? I haven't been playing as objectively as I should be, but I have been clearing out enemy tanks for our team, so. that somehow. Alright. I'm just gonna camp this location because there's a lot of traffic coming through. I might be able to jar the assault. Oh no, we just lost no we didn't. From O2 there is a lot of traffic coming through. Although I am very vulnerable to bombing, so if I get bombed, oh god. So please don't be a pizza team. Let's just have some Same dudes over and over. Sneak. Hey, you see me there? You run at me? What do you expect was gonna happen? Yeah, my tank is slightly glitching out. Just, I'm um, piercing. Oh god, hello. And I pressed E. So yeah, that was um. Good play from me. Whew. The game is shitting itself. So, if that dude gets in my tank, he's going to make a big mistake, because I can just simply one-shot him. But yeah, don't do what I did. Accidentally press E when you're trying to accidentally like, trying to switch your weapons. You will fall out of your tank and get shot. That was a really lucky headshot, though. It wasn't. Step one, get cover from my dead tank if someone's got it in it. Because I've seen this dude on the thing. You literally got nowhere to go. And he just got strafed by his own ally. Nice. <laughs> James Bond? Is that you? Did you know that James Bond? Now. Did you get in my tank? Oh, lags is insane. Yeah, you did. That's my idea. Two of you did. Nice. Good job. Thank you for those. Oh, dear. 
See, you don't do what I just did. Oh, wow. Oh, right, man's take. Okay, so I'm dead here because I was bad situ situational awareness. And uh, coupled with a bit of lag, which is always fun. Seems whenever they capture a O2 or something, just the lag just hits my computer. I might need to get a graphics card upgrade, not sure. Do need to upgrade some RAM. But, other than that, the thing about this is, once you die, you just do it again. I really couldn't care less about it. Oh, but I do care about whatever that was. Something much bigger than... It wasn't this guy who damaged me, because this guy can't... Is that James Bond again? Oh, damn it, James. Not oh, friendly to me. We're getting short from the side. But I'll give you a hand. Ah. Oh, he did penetrate me. That must have been that guy from before who was... killing me. I guess I was showing my side armor, which is always a pretty dumb idea. Someone's firing Panzer Force at me. That doesn't seem funny. That's about it. No, this one. Oh, always keep your gun and your front armor face toward the enemy. Oh, and don't pop out. Okay, that's not for me, what that is. I should really have to go on. Yep, and I paid the price for it. Just didn't... My own advice, and I didn't even go for it. Silly me. So, we're off again. Because we've got a contested... Uh, Oh dear. Yeah, they own that, then this game is over. So that is our last resource. Really looking forward to the Chaffee and the Easy A Sherman. Because I have quite a while to go before I can get on the ropes. Anyway, so this is the end, which is highly looking like it is. Yep, this is definitely the end. Um. Hope you guys like that. It's a little bit of Heroes in General's gameplay. How many? Well, I killed quite a few tanks. Um, I really hope you guys like that. Um, I'll be doing a lot more of this because this is just I've been playing this game lately. And it's really fun. It's really addictive. I totally say you should go and check it out. Um, yeah. Other than that, I will see you guys later. And thank you for watching. Leave a comment and a like. And I will be making more videos later. Thank you. Bye bye.